Selamat datang di kamar gue di Kamarama. Oke. Okay. Version 2.7 special program Genshin Impact sudah rilis. Gue mau nge-react. Uh, gue nggak nonton live. Mungkin kalian-kalian sudah ada yang nonton live dan gue mau nge-react. Uh, gue nggak nonton live karena biar bisa gue bisa biar bisa gue telaah satu-satu. Karena kan apa namanya seperti biasa uh, suka ada suka ada sesuatu yang mereka detailin di special program dan apa namanya uh, suka kelewat kalau bisa kalau gue mau bahas live gue pernah gue pernah gue pernah apa namanya react live itu kayak nggak uh, bisa gue pause nggak bisa gue pause nggak bisa gue balikin jalan terus aja gelontar gitu jadi nggak nggak bisa gue jadi apa yang mau gue omongin kadang-kadang di endingnya gue lupa makanya gue nggak pernah bikin live gua gua uh, apa namanya gua selalu bikin uh, reactnya ya yeah, sejam setelah mereka premier di YouTube gitu. Oke, okay, uh, gua pindah dulu ke sini. Mari kita mulai uh, special program 2.7. Play. Greetings and Ito welcome lagi, to the Genshin Yelan. Impact version okay. 2.7 special program. Oh. I'm your host, J- Zach Aguilar, voice of Ether, and today I'm joined by Max Middleman, Max Middleman, of the Arataki Gang's one and only hey. leader supreme, Arataki <laughs> Ito, and me. Uh, I'm Laura Post, and I voice Yelan. Oh, so, L- Laura Post, L- Laura Post, well, sorry, okay. Yelan's a woman of mystery, so let's keep it simple before we get to officially. Oh, nisan banget suaranya, okay. Oh, right, yeah, Kena gotcha, suaranya gotcha. Yelan nih. <laughs> And judging from the lovely image we have here, there'll be lots of other characters also making appearances this time around, so I'm sure it's gonna Gua be quite dikit funny. Gua Yeah, for Spanga sure. And travelers will definitely be seeing some familiar faces appearing alongside our new characters as we all delve into the chasm. Okay, the chasm oh, akan, yeah, akan lebih very banyak very cerita, yeah. berarti. I'm already super excited, and I'm sure everyone else is too. So let's kick things off with our brand new trailer for version 2.7, Hidden Dreams. Trailer, trailer, trailer. Ayo, trailer. Roll tape. Gua, gua, gua belum nyentuh sama sekali. Jadi kita lihat kayak apa. My father, he's thinking of stepping down from the Tianshu position. Okay. I first met Yelan when she was very young. Oh. Even back then, she was extremely tough. And she hmm. kept her cards close to her chest. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here. Hmm. So I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. Oh. Everything is chaotic here. If you stay here too long, This space may well devour you. Oh. Does that mean even Shell can't sense our presence here? Oh, ada bos baru. Seems to have been activated inside the Fantastic Compass. Oh. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. Okay. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. Yelan. Tapi, Here comes the catch. Agak menarik sih Yelan ini. Maybe I should make better use of my time. Kuki Shinobu. Our bond is strong. Stand with me. Lightning purify. No. Okay. Why? Why would you become like this? Oh. Oh, pantesan jadi mas no jadi Xiao lagi. Was that who I think it was? Something's not right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Something's oh. wrong with this domain. Leave now. Get out of there. I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Oh, your weakness. Die here with me. Oh, siapa nih? Wah, bos baru. Oke, okay, bos baru, bos baru. Keren sih, keren sih, keren sih, keren sih, keren sih. 
Wow. Bos baru yeah, dan somehow gue yakin bos odd, baru itu akan so apa namanya drop okay. drop ini apa namanya yeah. uh, drop arti like apa namanya drop bahan-bahan buat buat jalan sih kalau kata gue probably akan hydro juga okay. I'm pretty sure that everyone's waiting to see all these new characters and what their new event wishes will be. So let's get started with that. Yeah. Yes. New event. Uh. Yeah. New event is new event. Early part of version 2.7. Oh, no. oh, oh, tot, tot, tot. Okay. But this sudah 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 fix ya. Sudah fix ya. Sudah fix ya, guys. Uh, phase satu Yelan. Phase dua. Uh, oh, phase. Uh, phase satu. Phase satu Yelan sama Xiao. Phase dua Arataki Ito only. Uh, banner keduanya tidak tidak double de tidak double banner tapi di banner kedua akan ada karakter baru yaitu Kuki Shinobu. Oke, okay, lanjut lagi. Yelan will be appearing in her own event wish. At the same time, our old buddy Xiao will also be returning for a rerun in his event wish. Hmm. In the later part of version 2.7, ya, Shito ya. That's me. will be making a return <laughs> alongside his deputy leader Kuki Shinobu in his okay. own event wish. Ah, oh, Kuki Shinobu. She's a dream boat. She can do anything. <laughs> also, in terms of weapons, you can expect okay. to see an all-new weapon banner featuring the new five-star bow. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Sarah, see. Uh, apa namanya? Seperti apa? Event wishes for version 2.7. Statusnya seperti apa? Next, we have a quick trailer to give us a preview of the first of our. Okay, kita lihat jalan, 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 jalan. Roll tape. Oke, okay, udah fix sekarang. Dia charging karakter tapi uh, auto attack karakter juga. Ya, dan again, apa kalau misalnya ingat si siapa namanya si Yoimi juga bisa charging karakter juga sih. Tapi yang menarik tuh ini sebenarnya. Harus gue akuin, harus gue akuin. Halo, Yelan. Traveler. Call me Yelan. I think you may need my help. And I just so happen to be interested in some information you have. Endo Aya, oke. Okay. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Oke, okay, I, I would love to scratch your back. Eh, uh, Rama. Cool. Cool, cool, <laughs> cool. Nice I really like how she turns invisible. It's like my favorite part. <laughs> Yeah, I love how swift her movements are. Bik like, dibikin dia jadi invisible tuh yeah, lebih survival yeah, ability enggak oh, totally. sih? Jadi lu bisa bisa lari Man, ngambil jarak so juga gitu loh. Ah, <laughs> so many of you <laughs> jadi menarik juga sebenarnya si Helena nih. From when she appeared in the chasm. Her archery skills are pretty impressive. So Laura, would you mind lifting the veil on this mysterious character? Okay. Of course. Yelan is the uh, mysterious uh, owner of the Yenshang Tea House in Liyue. Definitely okay. not the first mysterious tea house owner we've met. <laughs> That's right. Would you look at that? Seems like running a tea house can be a pretty confrontational job in Tibet. <laughs> yeah, I okay. guess so. Uh, actually, oh, skill, though, skill, skill, skill. Tea house owner is not the only identity Yelan has. Tea house fact, owner. You could say that Yelan is a person with many different faces. She relies on her acting skills to naturally acting blend skill. into any social setting, pull some strings to guide the course of events, and then poof, disappears. <laughs> her activities have taken her Cuma across the other nations eh, of Tibet, and even to the abyss. <laughs> All right, nice. So she also travels around to that, like mm. the traveler. I could travel. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 but maybe a little more dangerous looking than our traveler. Hey, the traveler can be dangerous. Mm. Well, that... Yelan prefers the thrill of exploring dangerous places and living on the edge a little. Okay. Interesting. If you ask me, Yelan is starting to sound more like a special agent type of character. Nah, yeah, special well, agent. Well, sounds like you are following the clues, Zach. Yelan is actually a special intelligence officer that oh, reports to Ningguang, and she serves as a reliable okay. line of defense in protecting Liyue. Oh. Even those on the inside, like Ganyu, don't know the full extent of Yelan's duties. Oh. So, in other words, Yelan works under Ningguang? Dan Ningguang B4. Aneh gak sih lu? I wouldn't put it quite like that. To Yelan, her relationship with Ningguang isn't about rank. It's more about 
a collaboration. Ning Guang arranges dangerous work, and Ye Lan brings her the resulting intel. This sounds so secretive. I, I'm kind of curious about how these two started working together. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Speaking of her work, Ye Lan keeps tabs on any extraordinary individuals she comes across and puts them on a list. Okay. It wouldn't surprise me if we even found the traveler on her list mm. and that she's been keeping a close eye on them. <laughs> Wait, are, are you serious? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, as someone who works in special intelligence, Yelan is a master of disguise. Master of disguise. Expert at seeing through people and understanding what they're thinking. Ooh. So, if you'd like to see how Yelan operates in tough scenarios and works to uncover the truth, then be sure to check out her story quest, Umbrabilis Orcus Chapter. Okay, so now that we've heard a little bit about Yelan's background, how about we talk about her combat, combat capabilities? Okay. Let's do it. Yelan wields a bow and manipulates a hydro vision. Mm. And in combat, she's a hydro DPS character that combines rapid Open attacks attack with, with agile mobility. Okay. She's an expert at weaving in and out of dangerous situations by uh -huh. swiftly moving across the battlefield and rejoining the fray with powerful attacks. Okay. She's so agile. You know, she may move as gracefully as a flower petal in the wind, but uh, do not cross her. She is a beast with that bow. <laughs> <laughs> After a short time out of combat, Yelan will enter a breakthrough state, which mm. will cause her next charged aim shot to have decreased charge time. And once oh. charged, she can fire a breakthrough barb that will deal AOE hydro damage. Oh. Yelan's speed becomes quick. Oh jadi jadi apa? Tatar gue gue mundurin dikit, gue mundurin dikit, dikit, dikit. Gue tuh emang agak penasaran sama sama ininya. Which cause her uh, next charge aim shot to have decrease uh, to have decrease charge time. Berarti next charge aim shot stealthy bow shot shot to have decreased charge time and once charged she can fire a breakthrough barb that will deal AOE hydro damage. Keren sih. Charge attack-nya keren. Charge attack akan keren ini. Yelan's speed becomes quickly apparent in her elemental skill, Lingering Lifeline. Okay. Tapping or holding the skill button allows her to move rapidly using her lifeline, marking opponents along her path. Oh gitu. Ntar, kita ngomong charge attack-nya dulu. Charge attack-nya itu uh, apa namanya? Uh, Kalau di charge sekali, pertama kali, terus uh, next charge attack akan lebih pendek. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong ya guys ya Tapi charge attack level 2 nya itu juga uh, Bikin Damage AOE Kalau meledak di apa namanya Kalau kalau kena musuh dan meledak Jadi kena musuh dan meledak gitu Oh this is good This is good for crowd Bagus banget buat crowd ini Nah untuk skill nya Jadi kalau di tap Kalau di tap uh, Kita lihat lagi mundur lagi dikit once charged, she can fire a breakthrough barb that will deal AOE hydro damage. Yelan's speed becomes quickly apparent in her elemental skill. Nah, jadi kalau di kalau kalau di charge eh kalau di tap uh, skillnya di tap, dia cuma akan uh, apa ke, masuk masuk ke satu musuh dan dar langsung meledak itu aja. Tapi kalau mau dapat yang kayak ya apa sukucinya apa namanya sukucinya si uh, semut yang ada di Dota uh, itu harus Tapping or holding the skill button allows her to move rapidly using her lifeline, marking opponents along. Huh? Tapping, tapping, ta 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 ta. Lingering lifeline. Tapping or holding the skill button. Oh, tapping or holding. Oh, ni holding berarti. Using her lifeline, marking opponents along her path. When her rapid move ends, the lifeline will explode, dealing hydro ah. damage to marked targets. Ta 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 ta. Elon also has a fixed Dor. chance to reset ah. the breakthrough state based on the number of opponents marked. Oh, cool. So we'd better try to mark a whole crowd of enemies to maximize the damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, jadi mark. Oh, 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 serious. Uh, Yelan also have fixed chance to reset the break to stage based on the number of opponent. Oh, cool. So we'd better try to mark a whole crowd of enemies to lagi. mark targets. Yelan also has a fixed chance to reset her breakthrough state based on the number of opponents marked. Oh, cool. 
Wah, oh, berarti tam- tambah banyak musuh yang di tap makin gede. Oke. Okay. Oh, ini bagus buat di ini nih, buat bagus di uh, sebelum sebelum masuk ke burst, berarti ini bagus banget buat spiral. <laughs> Guys. Uh, ini terutama bag- bagus buat di spiral, terutama buat yang awal-awal kalau kata gue. Ini cepat banget ngabisin 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 musuh di awal-awal. Uh, di, di, dikumpulin pakai Venti atau pakai apa pakai Kazuha terus dipuk, dihajar pakai Yelan dah cepat banget ini uh, ini bagus buat uh, buat crowd crowd apa namanya crowd damaging tuh bagus banget berarti oke okay, uh, untuk burst sepertinya burstnya Put seperti yang kita kru, itu kalau misalnya udah when your active character uses a normal attack ah. and each time Yelan's lifeline explodes and hits opponents Huh? With Yelan's passive talent, adapt with ease. The active character's damage increases over time while the dice are active. Oh, okay. I'm telling well, you, do this. not mess with her. She sounds gnarly. <laughs> uh, sounds like she could also fill a solid support role too. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Support Yelan also has sih. another passive talent called turn control. Turn control. Oh, jadi kalau kalau burstnya seperti yang kita tahu mirip seperti Sincho. Jadi selama selama dice yang aktif, dia akan 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 nembakin. Jadi apa nama ya, standar lah uh, mirip seperti Sinjo cuman jaraknya jarak lebih jauh kan kayaknya ya. Kalau Sinjo kan jaraknya jarak jarak dekat. Entar. Over time while the dice are active. Oh. I'm telling you do not mess with Entar, her. Mundur lagi mundur lagi. Active character uses a normal attack. Ah, and normal each attack. Time Yelan's lifeline explodes and hits opponents. Oh. Yelan's passive talent adapt with ease. Jadi kalau Yelan kalau Yelannya sendiri explode uh, apa namanya uh, Jalan lifeline-nya uh, dia pakai dia pakai uh, skill-nya meledak itu juga itu juga nembakin oh sakit sih sakit banget nih jalan nih ini sakit banget sih uh duh gue jadi bingung mau mau narik siapa nih aduh active characters damage increases over time while the dice are active I'm telling you do not mess with her do not mess with her <laughs> uh, sounds like she could also fill a solid support role too totally Absolutely. solid support yeah. banget banget Yelan also has another passive talent called turn control, turn control. which causes Yelan's max HP to be increased based on the number of elemental types that are present in the party oh and finally because of Yelan oh, oh gimana 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 Yelan also has another passive talent called turn, turn control, control which causes Yelan which causes Yelan max HP to be increased based on the number of elemental types that are present in the party. Berarti tergantung dengan apa namanya eh uh, party lu tuh isinya bagaimana, Yelan tuh HP-nya bisa makin gede. Wah, survivability-nya lumayan nih Yelan nih. Bisa ngilang. Terus apa namanya uh, damage-nya juga lumayan. bisa ngambil bisa bisa spacing pun spacing maksud gue tuh apa namanya uh, salah satu kelemahan kelemahan Yoimi ya yang gue rasain ya sekarang ya itu adalah ketika musuh jalan, jalan dekat kalau Yoimi nggak bisa nggak bisa apa namanya nggak bisa matiin Yoimi itu harus mundur harus dash mundur ke belakang jadi apa uh, apa namanya serangannya tuh jadi berhenti Yelan dengan apa jurus jurus apa dengan dengan skillnya itu bisa 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 malah maju ke depan ngedamage musuh atau apa namanya ya tetap sama dash ke belakang tapi dia bisa bisa ada opsi untuk maju ke depan Yoimi tidak punya sedangkan kalau Ganyu Ganyu itu masih punya opsi untuk ngeluarin skillnya supaya musuh ke distract jadi apa namanya kan e, bunganya dia tuh yang 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 dilempar dilempar tengah itu kan kayak Baron Bani e, nge apa namanya nge agro apa namanya nge, nge taun lebih tepatnya nge taun musuh yang ada di sekitar jadinya musuhnya apa, apa nak ketarik ke ke si ini apa namanya ke ke si bunga gitu loh sementara Yoimiya gue gue nyadar Yoimi itu kekurangannya adalah uh, tidak ada sesuatu hal yang bisa bikin dia eh, tidak ada opsi saat dia uh, diserang musuh lebih lebih dekat lagi itu problemnya problem Yoimiya yang gue rasain sekarang ya Kalau gue selama gue, gue kan juga player Yoimiya ya, gue, gue pakai Yoimiya di tim gue. Jadi biasanya kalau gue pakai Yoimiya itu adalah opsi gue adalah mundur atau ganti karakter, ganti karakter yang uh, range-nya lebih dekat. In this case antara apa namanya antara kalau gue itu antara jadi antara uh, Eula atau Noel. Kalau Noelnya lagi lagi kalau Noelnya lagi penuh darahnya, ya apa namanya langsung lagi penuh burstnya ya langsung gue burst. 
biasanya sih uh, sering lebih seringnya kalau di lapangan enggak gitu loh. Ya uh, Yelan jadi jadi lebih bisa lama, lebih lama di lapangan karena di apa di di field karena dia punya opsi itu gitu loh. Kalau misalnya apa namanya kalau misalnya dideketin ya udah skill aja cedot beres. Yang problemnya adalah gue nggak tahu seberapa lama skillnya cooldown itu doang. Kalau apa namanya uh, cooldownnya lama ya pilihannya mundur. Tapi dia jadi ada ada punya pilihan lagi untuk maju. Itu ini hebatnya Yelan sih. Uh, plusnya Yelan lebih tepat nih kalau kalau gue lihat dari, dari sini. Oke okay, kita kita lanjut lagi. Wants max HP to be increased based on the number of elemental types that are present in the party. And finally, because of Yelan's understanding of the Liyue region, hmm? she gains increased rewards when dispatched on a Liyue expedition for 20 oh, hours. Oh, special to Yelan. Okay. Of course, even after sharing all this information, Yelan still has a lot of secrets. Okay. Travelers will have to spend more time with Yelan on their journey to learn more about her. She'll also be making an appearance in the new Archon Quest interlude chapter coming in version 2.7. Hmm, okay. We'll have more Archon details Quest on that shortly, yeah. so don't miss it. Yeah, the Archon Quest is nice. fun. And now, I think it's about Kuki time to our second new character, Kuki Shinobu. Oh, she's the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Second to Ito, of course. So uh, let's see her in action. Okay, let's see Kuki Shinobu. This is quite cute. Tapi kalau sampai Kuki Shinobu keluar, harusnya ada sesuatu lagi lah. Oh, eh hey, normal tak keren cuy. Oke. Oke, oke. Kombunya asik. Kira Baklan dan Mizusha Mizuhashi. Mizuhashi Kaori. Oke. Ya. I love the way she looks like her color scheme and of course the green hair and mm -hmm. the mask like she looks super capable. Me super too. capable. Yeah, no, I love her design. I love that like lightning flowing around her and the swords the way they go <laughs> up in the air and mm -hmm. go down. <laughs> well you guys can see why she'd be an obvious addition to the Arataki gang. She's just that good. That good. Uh, all right, leave the introduction to me, will you? Okay. Only after Boss. getting to know Shinobu, can you really begin to fathom how important she is to the entire Arataki gang. Mm. Kuki Shinobu knows how to do almost anything and is mm. constantly rescuing the boss, rescuing the boss and fellow gang members from dangerous situations. With her help, the little wandering gang of misfits in Hanamizaka has become a skilled crew capable of taking on any kind of commission. Okay. Oh, I think I see who's really running things in the gang. So the real question here is why would someone as competent as Shinobu ever choose to join the Arataki gang? Oh, uh, uh, what are you trying to say, Zach? Oh, you know what I'm trying to say. No, I'm not exactly sure, but you know, let's move on. Anyway, no, okay. we need to track the start of Shinobu's story back to her family. Turns out that her family has traditionally served as shrine maidens to Narukami for who knows how long. So you're saying she went from a strict family of shrine maidens to joining the Arataki gang? Yeah. That's, is that so surprising? That's a pretty hmm. big 180. Well, it just goes to show how much she's changed. Okay, younger, skill, skill. Ayo dong, skill dong. As an understudy to the Grand Narukami oh, Shrine. Oh, Grand Narukami, okay. After okay. a certain incident, huh? she started to doubt whether she was really suited for the strict life of a Shrine Maiden. So oh, tadinya Maiden, okay. So she the path of her family behind and search for a path of her own. Out of oh. curiosity and personal interest, she took the initiative to learn a variety of crafts and skills. And hmm. it wasn't long before she obtained many certificates so many in fact that she can't even fit all her qualifications on a business card for example oh. uh, shinobu even went to study law in liyue which is oh, oh, oh. Where she met yenfei so they oh. know each other yenfei has some pretty random acquaintances yeah but she knows okay. a chance to meet many people lucu nih lucu nih ada 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 hubungan dengan yanfei free work environment dia ngerti hukum she's rejected countless work opportunities okay. she even passed on an opportunity from kujo tengu to work in the tenryo commission oh wait they know each other too okay ini keren nih kuki shinobu backstory-nya keren she chose to be with you can guess <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> 
Ningguang? It's the R talkie game. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That, that, that. For some reason. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. It's, it's great. Okay, moving <laughs> no on. No one knows why. Moving on. <laughs> All right, if you're interested in learning more about Kuki Shinobu and the Arataki gang, mm -hmm. are, then be sure to check out Shinobu's very own hangout event in version Had to hang out there, fan. Yeah, Not okay, nice, 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 nice. see a day in the life of the Arataki gang. How exciting is that? But you'll also get to learn a lot more about Shinobu's past. And that's about all I can say for now. Travelers will have to check out okay. the event to learn more. Okay, we've covered her backstory. Now, mm -hmm. let's see the Arataki gang's deputy leader kicking some butt in battle. Ooh. Kuki Shinobu is a Shinobu. support character, oh, support character. Sword, and uses her electro vision to both heal teammates and heal? Do continuous damage from off the battlefield. She can huh? do it all. Her unique skills allow her to sacrifice her own HP in combat in order to heal other party oh. members. It's valiant. That's so sweet of her. It's selfless. Nice. It's Bentar. Ngorbanin HP dia sendiri untuk ngeheal team. Generous. Okay. When she uses her elemental skill sanctifying ring, okay. she sacrifices a certain portion of her HP to create a grass ring of sanctification okay. that will heal friendly characters within it and deal continuous electro damage to surrounding opponents. Jadi, skillnya dia kalau dipake akan ngorbanin HP, HP-nya dia. Oke. Okay. Uh, konsep ini sudah 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 apa namanya? sudah ba sudah sudah bisa di di apa namanya di di nalar dari Hutau pun ya jadi kalau uh, Hutau pakai skill kan dia apa namanya uh, akan korbanin HP-nya dia oke okay, nggak apa-apa uh, nggak gue nggak masalah dan orang yang ada ada dan itu kan skill 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 aktif yang transferable ya jadi skill jadi jadi skill ini kita kita mundurin uh, Gener Jadi skill ini, skill skill ring ini ada kursor, oh kursor gue kelihatan. Ring ini itu akan ngehil siapapun yang ada di dalam situ. Berarti kayak Cici, kayak Cici, kayak kayak Barbara uh, bisa ngehil, bisa ngehil plus damage. Berarti kayak Cici lebih tepatnya kali ya. Tapi kalau Cici itu uh, ticknya itu per detik, uh, apa ticknya itu lama gitu loh. Tuh dua tiga empat li, tuh dua tiga Das tu dua tiga das gitu loh. Ini kayaknya sih lebih sama sih sama sama. Karena kalau karena kalau lihat tu wah gak gelar gitu kan. Nah kalau lihat di sini ya kalau lihat di sini. Tar. Kan dia muter. Kalau lingkarannya kecil berarti gak 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 apa gak ngedamage. Kalau lingkaran yang membesar, kalau lingkaran yang membesar kalau lingkaran yang membesar, ntar. Nah, pas pun besar, baru damage. Ah, ya kayak cici sih, kayak cici. Kalau kalian kalian apa namanya punya cici, cici kan gitu, muter, heal, terus blar ke depan apa 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 namanya kayak meledak gitu. Tapi ini range nya lebih lebih kalau gue lihat lebih 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 lebar daripada cici. Cici itu masih masih cuma di sekitarnya dia aja. Oh gitu, oke 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 oke. When she uses her elemental skill sanctifying ring, she sacrifices a certain portion of her HP to mm. create a grass ring of sanctification that'll heal friendly characters within it and mm. deal continuous electro continuous electro damage. Yeah. Bener, bener kayak cici. After unlocking the passive talent Heart's Repose, Heart's Repose, her elemental skills healing and damage will be boosted based on Shinobu's elemental mastery. Tapi dia punya punya scaling. Dia punya scaling di EM. Ah, jadi kalau ini ini apa namanya sepengetahuan gua ya. Kalau dia punya scaling di EM, maka kalau misalnya kita tinggalin kalau uh, katakan kayak siapa? Kayak eh uh, A. Eh bukan A, siapa namanya? Eh uh, lu si rubah itu <laughs> gua sampai lupa. Gue sampai lupa namanya. Uh, dia, si Jugong. <laughs> Aduh. Eh, siapa sih Rubah? Gue sampai lupa namanya. Ya udah itulah pokoknya si, si Mbak 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 Mba Rubah. Gue sampai lupa. Gue gua tiba-tiba uh, hilang ingatan. Oke. Okay. Uh, Kalau misalnya IM-nya gede. Maka damage dari totemnya dia akan akan gede. Ya. Kalau tinggal. Uh, 
uh, yang gue tahu dari 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 game ini adalah ketika ketika karakter tidak aktif maka stat yang berlaku adalah stat karakter yang aktif uh, kecuali apa namanya ada peraturan yang membuat itu berubah contoh uh, misalnya uh, apa ya kayak ya, contoh kayak misalnya ya kayak si siapa namanya Yaimiko ya Yaimiko Yaimiko uh, totemnya walaupun ditinggalin uh, tetap akan di, akan 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 ke damage dari IM-nya akan uh, singet gue ya correct me if I'm wrong ya guys ya tebakan gue uh, ini akan berlaku sama sama uh, Kokishinobu kalau IM-nya dia gede dia sebagai support Uh, akan akan nge-support damage gede juga kalau IM-nya gede. Cuman dia akan akan pasti nge, nge, apa namanya nge, nge makan HP-nya. Tapi nge makan HP sekarang gini, kalau gua pakai kalau gua pakai semacam kalau gua pakai kayak siapa kayak kayak si uh, Noel gitu atau kayak, kayak yang 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 mukul terus heal-nya heal-nya kenceng. Gampang lah itu bisa bisa diatur. With another passive talent breaking free when Shinobu's HP is low. Ini yang gak kepake kalau kata gue malahan. <laughs> ini agak gak kepake ini kecuali makan HP-nya Shinobu tuh gedenya minta ampun. Setiap kali dia ngeluarin skill. Kalau uh, apa namanya kalau makan HP-nya gede uh, apa namanya berarti dia uh, apa namanya uh, high risk high return jatuhnya. Kalau kalau dengan passive talentnya ini ya. High risk high return banget. Dia makan HP-nya gede, tapi balikin HP-nya juga gede. Tapi berarti kalau misalnya Shinobu tetap a, tetap aktif di dalam battle, uh, itu cuma cuma sekali tik langsung apa namanya nggak 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 bikin Shinobu lebih lebih hebat lagi gitu loh. Sekali tik doang jadi 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 healnya gede gitu loh. Nggak 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 terus terusan gede. Tapi kalau misalnya kita putar ke karakter yang lagi aktif, uh, lebih survive karakter yang lebih aktifnya. Tapi Shinobunya Uh, ini apa namanya Shinobunya sekarat. Oke. Okay. Her healing bonus is increased. So travelers will need to monitor her HP when using her skill. Hmm. You don't want it to be too low, but at the same time, lower is also better. Definitely, yes. Shinobu's elemental burst, Gyoe Naru Kami Kariyama. Jadi kalau pertambat gue sih apa namanya uh, skill pasif yang tadi itu kurang guna ya. Kalau menurut gue ya. Karena karena uh, gue sebagai player yang suka HP HP karakternya penuh, gue bukan player gua, gua bukan player who tahu. Eh uh, yang terakhir itu akan sedikit sedikit kurang guna menurut gue. Kecuali mungkin di spiral lu empon-potan. Mungkin akan berguna juga dia di spiral. Alright, creates a special field in front of her that deals continuous electro damage to opponents within it. Oh. And it goes without saying that Shinobu is amazing at carrying out expeditions. With the passive talent protracted prayers, she gains Untuk berset berset gimana? With another passive talent breaking free, okay. we will need to monitor her HP when using her skill. You don't want it to be too low, but at the same time, lower is also better. Yes. Definitely, yes. Shinobu's elemental burst, Gyoe Naru Kami Kariyama right, creates hmm. a special field in front, front of her, her. continuous elect Jadi hmm, ini enggak ada spesialnya, kecuali kita lihat nanti apa buat uh, ininya sih di constellation ya. Gua enggak uh, gua yakin di channel ini hanya kayaknya yang ngasih uh, field yang ngasih electro damage secara berkala. Udah gitu doang. <tuh> tapi, tapi, gue nggak tahu konstelasinya seperti apa. Gue belum baca sama sekali bocoran konstelasinya seperti apa. Ada kemungkinan besar karakter-karakter dengan area 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 damage seperti ini itu biasanya area area damage-nya itu ngasih buff tertentu. Apa energi recharge lebih tinggi lah, atau misalnya nggak heal juga, atau apa namanya, atau bahkan uh, nambah attack juga nambah kritikal kita nggak tahu kita nggak tahu karena konstelasinya belum keluar kalau konstelasinya kalau konstelasinya nanti kita pas coba konstelasinya lebih bagus dari yang kita duga Kuki Shinobu bisa jadi esensial untuk uh, spiral ataupun jadi uh, tim yang yang uh, jadi satu tim anggota tim yang bagus kita lihat aja nanti oke okay? 
And it goes without saying that Shinobu is amazing oh, okay. at carrying out. Sekarang kan baru si siapa sih namanya? Baru Fujisara. Oh, okay. Let me tell you man, Ito sure is lucky to have such a capable deputy leader. Hmm. But the okay. feeling is mutual and Shinobu feels the members of the gang are also super important to her. Okay. They are her true family members regardless of her rebellious nature. Although Shinobu has to bail them out of trouble over and over again, <laughs> the gang is the only place she feels truly free and at peace. Okay. I think it's great that they found each other. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, I hope everyone is feeling pretty excited for these new characters. I'm excited, really excited. Oh, we covered a lot there. Next, we will be diving into some of the new events players can new event player, coming okay. their way in version 2.7. Our first event not only includes our huh? new Archon Quest interlude chapter, okay. but will also contain a... Sebentar, sebentar, sebentar. Ingat ya teman-teman, kalau event ngasih senjata, kejar senjatanya kejar senjatanya sampai R5 sampai refinement 5 nggak perlu dinaikin 90 tapi at least kejar sampai 5 bahkan gue fading twilight ini adalah senjata alternatif untuk jalan jadi kalau kalian tidak bisa dapat apa namanya senjata yang tadi di awal senjata apa namanya senjata B5 senjata B5 nya ini kemungkinan terbesar adalah senjata alternatif untuk jalan kalau ngelihat dari apa namanya dari uh, playstyle-nya Yelan, ini akan bisa dipakai oleh rata-rata rata-rata uh, bow user. Kita lihat aja nanti. Gue sih penasaran. Fading Twilight. The Archon Quest will be featuring a very unique cast of characters as okay. Genfei, Yelan, Ito, and Shinobu team up with the Traveler when they become stranded deep in the chasm Duh. and it's not okay. long before we also discover that Xiao is also conducting an investigation of his own in the chasm oh. investigation you say hmm? <laughs> because there's a Ini lot akan trigger boss baru sih gue yakin sih boss, chasm, boss weekly baru kayaknya sih kalau kata gue the way fought off monsters 500 years ago Yelan has been monitoring this place for quite some time, trying to find out the truth of what happened back then. Oh. It turns out that this piece of history is also related to her origins. Oh. Mystery. Mystery. Yeah, the Mystery. group will also find themselves facing a crisis in the chasm, and will have to survive together in what will definitely be a thrilling experience. Okay. Mm. So from what's been revealed in the previous version, we know that there is a deep connection between the Yakshas and what happened in the chasm. Mm -hmm. It even seems that our vigilant Yaksha Shao has some obsession with the area. Okay. It'll be interesting to see why he's in the chasm and what he's looking for down there. Travelers will have to follow Shao's steps to learn more about the history that has been sealed there. Mm. As travelers play okay. through the Archon Quest, the combat challenge Realms of Guile and War will also gradually become available. Mm. Travelers will need to constantly defeat enemies within a challenge oh, domain. Challenge domain. Completing okay. three challenges will be counted as a round. The first three domains will consist of three rounds, and the last domain. Kayaknya, kayaknya uh, buat yang suka What's dengan gelut ini akan gampang, akan akan suka bukan gampang, akan suka sih. To rearrange your party according to the domain's rules. Oh, For example, in the dire clip okay. court domain, only one member of the current party can be selected to continue on, while everyone else will enter recuperation mode and oh, will be unable to fight. In another okay. domain, kaleidoscope cage. Two characters will be selected at random and will be unable to continue the fight. Okay. So it looks like travelers will need to be prepared to face a variety of scenarios. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is really interesting. So you can't use all the characters. Still, okay. it sounds like they're going to need to use a lot of characters. Uh, I don't know if everyone's leveled up quite so many. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I know I got to level up a... Uh, okay. Ini kenapa gua 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 punya so punya tujuan main game itu main main Genshin Impact adalah bikin semua karakter at least, at least level 80. Oh. 70 80 lah. Ah. select and equip three stratagems per combat round that will provide buffs in battle. Oh cool. Yeah. 
Travelers may consume stratagem shards they've collected in battle to redraw. Karena karena gue ngerasa gini, ngerasa gini juga ya. Event-event kayak gini itu yang bikin apa Mihoyo masukin data man ke gameplay seperti apa yang cocok yang buat game mereka selanjutnya. Zenless Zen Zero kayak contoh kayak Zenless Zen Zero aja, Zenless Zen Zero ya gue ngomong ya. Itu gue rasa datanya akan masuk juga dari kemarin event yang kemarin yang apa yang yang dungeon. Karena uh, apa namanya event apa Zenless Zen Zero game game baru mereka ini shooting action uh, apa shooting action uh, RPG ya kalau nggak salah ya uh, dengan sistem rock like itu kemarin tuh kayak yang 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 di Inazuma kemarin yang ada dungeon dungeonnya tuh gue ngerasa itu rock like banget soalnya. Okay. Yeah, and in addition to exchangeable rewards in the event shop, everyone should remember to also collect rewards Ingat, from senjatanya, the senjatanya event page. The rewards harus bisa R5. Aduh. Four star bow called Fading hmm. Twilight. Fading Twilight ini loh. Sounds cool. So you guys have got to check out this event. Oh, I definitely will. Hmm. All right. Our next event is called Mali Mali Bizarre, Bizarre okay. Adventure. Okay. This one also takes place down in the chasm. Darn mysterious chasm. Hmm, chasm. So For reasons unknown, some dark mud-like substances oh, like, okay. out of the caverns in mines. Ya kan bukan emang banyak ya. And once again, the Sumeru scholar Hoseini has appeared to help us resolve the crisis. Okay. In this event, we will have to deal with constantly oozing dark mud as well as monsters that Oh, gue belum belum 10 ini ya. Gue juga lupa belum beresin lagi. Yeah. Ya, sampai gue harus beresin kasam deh. Sina spike will need to clear the mud, weaken and defeat monsters and let the spike purify the surrounding area while energizing itself. Okay. Attacks from monsters will disable the spike, so travelers must be sure to protect them. Okay. Also, when the spike is operating normally, using blooming light with a lumen stone adjuvant of a certain level will clear out nearby oozing concretions, granting the spike hmm. additional energy and oh. speeding up the charging. <laughs> kalau aku, kalau ngeliat gameplaynya di sini ya, gue nggak heran kenapa uh, orang pada suka pakai kaz, uh, kayak Dehara Kazuha. Santai bu mainnya dengan ada kayak di Hara Kazuha nggak perlu rebek. Oh heck ya. Yeah. Nice. Uh, as the event progresses through different phases, uses for the spike will also change. For example, the spike could release shock waves at intervals that attack opponents and dispel the buffs oh. that those opponents possess. Also, the challenge objectives will change throughout the event. In some challenges, travelers may have to defeat the enemies in a limited amount of time, hmm? while in others, travelers will have to escort a hot air balloon to its destination while clearing out Aduh. dark mud along the way. In the last phase of the okay. event, travelers will have to clear dark mud and defeat monsters. Oh, ini akan challenging sih. Akan sedikit in challenging challenge, ini. Powerful opponents will appear and travelers may defeat them to earn more points. Travelers will need to be careful of the dark mud as it drains HP and affects our ability to move. Hmm, okay. So be sure to stay safe yeah, and make itu, itu by default any sih, enemies emang. you encounter. Keep yourself alive! <laughs> yeah, I'm up! So you guys remember how yeah. I said that Shinobu studied law in Liyue before? Well, Artakis, great girl. to celebrate her graduation, we're holding a special event. The event almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. Drum Along which, Festival. Which, in case okay. you didn't catch that, is going to be another rhythm game event. Oh, rhythm yes, game. Yes, rhythm game. Rhythm game. Rhythm game. Rhythm game. Love and hate it, rhythm <laughs> yep, game. And we're going to be shaking things okay. up a little from the previous music games. This time, travelers will be receiving a drum. Drum. The game will be changing to a play style taiko. that is a little more... Nah, bukan taiko. Bukan ini bukan apa. Drum biasa. It'll biasa. probably be best beda, if beda, 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 beda. travelers how it works. So, let's take a look at how to play. All right, here we go. Okay. Yes, pro mode. That's the only kind of rhythm game I want to play. Huh? Let's go, drum I hand. I okay? All right, it's like one of the semicircle style ones. Yeah. I can get behind that. Okay, so you gotta use two hands. Yeah. All right. Oh, sama sih. Sama, sama. I mean, some people do them one-handed, but I can't imagine doing that personally. Yeah. Okay, back to apa namanya? Back to smartphone, berarti. Yeah, we got the, the taps and we got the whole. Oh, dingin. And then we have the. Double. Enggak, enggak, enggak. Ini harus pakai keyboard sih. You have to hold them down at the same time. Nice, multitasking. Okay, yang suka yang suka main Osu, yang suka main game rhythm, this is your this is your time to shine again. Oh, Max beatboxing, keren. Okay. 
Oh! -ho! This music is bopping. I know, right? That's what the, all the kids say. Bopping. Oh, tough, complicated. I think they one. Oh, they missed oh, one. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Combo. Look at breaker. that combo. Double notes. Lots of double oh, notes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Bopping my head to the music. I'm into this. Ini gini ya. Kalau suatu saat di masa depan tiba-tiba Mihoyo bikin game game apa bikin game rhythm, gue nggak heran. Seriously, gue nggak heran. Gue nggak heran sama sekali. Di masa depan kalau Mihoyo tiba-tiba bikin game rhythm ya, gue nggak heran sama sekali. Oh, how fun is that? Oh man, that looks so fun. Okay, okay. Well, considering that travelers might be playing the rhythm game on a variety of different devices, mm -hmm. the designers have so kindly implemented a lag calibration function. Oh. This means travelers can calibrate their device by tapping the screen when they hear the accented and Gue curiga, gue curiga. Beneran akan ada game rhythm dari MiHoYo kalau begini. Ini soalnya dia dia dia, dia, dia udah sampai kayak gini soalnya. Ini kayak kayak blueprint gitu loh jatuhnya. Ya kita lihat aja nanti lah, tapi ya sudah lah. Also, we'll be able to adjust the note falling speed as well as the volume of the button sound when pressed. Oh. Additionally, more detail was given to how the system determines whether each note is counted as successfully hit. Karena udah, udah terlalu detail nih. Kalau ini nggak jadi permanen atau misalnya jadi game lain, uh, aneh gitu loh menurut gue. Oke, 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 oke. 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 Oke, And just wait, I haven't even gotten to the coolest feature yet. Oh. As tunes are unlocked, a note editor mode will also huh? be unlocked. Oh, cool. Create your own. <laughs> All right, that is pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> Travelers can the bisa bikin lagi. Own beat maps of the game's musical scores, which can then be shared with other people. Nice. Oh. Of course, in order to share your tunes with others, you will first be required to play the song and reach a specific rank to generate the share code. And hmm. finally, travelers will also find some special gifts and messages left by some familiar friends. Tapi ini bukan bukan event so gue sih. Oh, Tapi gue yakin oh, di luar sana oh, akan banyak yang suka least, dengan event ini. Apalagi bisa bikin sendiri. Event. The aim of the event? create a robot. Kor of aparatus, okay? That's right. Travelers will receive a material collector from a toy merchant from Fontaine. There oh, are a total of three processes you must complete. Number one, source material collection. Number two, elemental charge. And number three, core activation. Completing these processes will produce a robotic furnishing that can be placed in the Serena teapot. The robots oh. can have a variety of possible model types and animations. Oh, that's pretty which cool. Which will be determined by what you do during the three processes we just mentioned. There is even a chance hmm. to use a special lucu. furnishing lucu. that can perform all three animations. Oh, ah, nice. Okay. During the event, travelers will be able to claim a total of four robots from test model vouchers. If, say, you were unable to produce the model you wanted, you can use the trade function to send requests and obtain the product ah, model that uh, you need. Uh, so, ini uh, uh, killer sih, uh, quasi killer, tapi, gua, tapi <laughs> lucu sih, lucu sih. Yeah, I can't wait to see what everyone makes in this event. And that's it for the new events in version 2.7. Okay. Next, we have some important system updates and system updates okay. coming to the game. First, to help travelers on their adventures, the system designers have added challenge feature tips huh? to the beginning of some Oh, challenge. Okay, okay. dapat tips sekarang. These will include some suggestions on how to quickly defeat the monsters in the domain, which might help travelers find the optimum team or strategy to efficiently clear okay, it. Okay, I tambah itu is good. It's a good thing. System designers will be providing some detailed tips to help players train and strengthen their characters. Huh? When players open the character talents menu, they can use the newly added talent reference button oh, to see talent priority recommendations okay, okay, based on okay, the okay, actual okay, okay. data of other active players. Oh, and okay, 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 okay. Lucu, lucu. Okay, it's, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. Jadi, ya, lebih gampang, ntar. Oh, ini, ini, ini akan bantu, akan bantu bantu new player banget sih. Akan bantu banget ini. While choosing how to strengthen each of your characters.
Ooh, cool. So, yeah. That'll make it easier. Um, the talent reference button looks super convenient. Ah. Like, it seems like it would be really helpful if you're kind of on the fence and you kalo, don't know. Uh, apa namanya? Kalo, you can see what jadi kalau nanya-nanya terus, oh, totally. sekarang sudah ada, nanti akan ada itu. Ada ada apa? Ntar. Yang nanya-nanya, uh, harus naikin apa? Harus naikin apa? Apa, apa, apa? Nanti akan ada, ada reference button. By default, itu apa namanya yang yang lu build. Karena tadi kalau lu denger, It, dianya apa ngambil data data apa namanya reference tersebut based on uh, data yang dipakai sama uh, player pada saat itu jadi metanya pada saat itu oke okay. regarding the game's music during version 2.7 we will be releasing a new OST album Millilith's Watch okay. which includes all the music composed by the Hoyo, Hoyo mix team for the new Chasm area oh okay Ooh, sounds cool my sounds favorite cool. part of any game is the soundtrack so I'm looking forward to hearing that yeah okay next we have a new collaboration to announce to everyone ah, collab, 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 collab. Genshin Impact will be teaming up with the Funko oh Brand Funko Impact Funko Pops. More characters oh, under supervision, oh, under revision. The first wave will Ampe keluar Noel. Ether, the the one I I voice. Ampe And keluar Noel. These will be released as Funko Pop Asia bobblehead figures. Oh, bobblehead. Interested can head to the official Funko website to be notified when the figures are released. Oh, okay. Although you have to wait for them. Okay, itu dia tadi uh, special program. Special programnya at such a, at a special program dari Genshin Impact 2.7. Banyak hal yang menarik, banyak hal yang eh uh, ya walaupun nggak 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 sebegitu mengejutkan ya. Ini termasuk apa namanya? Termasuk hal yang menarik buat gue. Jalan jalan menarik banget. Terus Cookie Shinobu surprising ini akan mungkin bisa jadi salah satu B4 yang bisa masuk spiral. Ah. Terus apa namanya? eh uh, event-eventnya juga lucu-lucu. Kita lihat aja nanti event-event ini seperti apa. Uh, karena gini. Eh uh, event kalau ngasih ingat uh, gua ingetin sekali lagi. Event kalau ngasih senjata, kejar senjatanya, guys. Kejar senjatanya. Gua kasih tahu, kejar senjatanya. Eh uh, gua mungkin eh uh, apa namanya? akan lebih lebih intens lagi main Genshin Impact setelah update ini karena karena event-eventnya menarik dan arkonnya arkon quest dan hangout quest hangout uh, nya juga menarik gitu loh yang gue lucu adalah Yelan itu uh, kalau ngeliat dari dari interaksi mereka tadi itu adalah special agent special agent jadi agen rahasia uh, kayak Vestia Zeta alah Rama uh, udah <laughs> eh, uh, apa namanya Yelan Yelannya B 5 Terus pasukan rahasianya Ganyu dan dan apa namanya dan keceng juga B5. Kenapa emaknya B4? <laughs> Kenapa emaknya B4? Ini membuat gue yakin di masa depan akan ada varian uh, siapa namanya Ningguang yang B5 di masa depan tapi nggak sekarang dikeluarin. Aduh, oke. Okay. Bagaimana pendapat kalian tentang special program 2.7? Gue sih tertarik ya. Gua, eh bukan tertarik. Gue sih excited ya. Uh, dan gue agak jadi galau apakah uh, Yelan, Yelan ini harus gue pull atau nanti tetap nunggu itu atau malah nunggu Heizo. To be honest, gue tertarik banget uh, narik Heizo. Uh, tapi ya, again, buat gue... <laughs> Harus bisa tahan diri. Ini karakternya bagus menurut gue. Karakter, karakter spiral banget. Uh, terasa karakter spiral banget dan bisa bisa di dia bisa buat gantiin Sincho di apa namanya di di apa di di, di spiral soalnya. Jadi kita lihat aja nanti bagaimana Yelan akan uh, apa namanya play stylenya Yelan. Uh, gue sih yakin akan banyak yang yang ngepul Yelan nanti dan uh, somehow cukup esen, jadi, jadi bisa jadi cukup esensial untuk beberapa beberapa orang de, beberapa playstyle-nya uh, teman-teman. Huh, Oke. Okay. Uh, gue cukup puas dengan spesial program ini. Walaupun tidak terlalu hingar-bingar uh, isinya tapi cukup membuat gua excited untuk bermain lebih intens lagi. Ini jujur gara-gara gara-gara apa namanya ini? Gara-gara uh, delay ini 
gue agak-agak nurunin apa nama uh, uh, playtime gue main-main Genshin. Jadi gue cuman-cuman daily doang, daily, daily doang uh, sama naik lagi naikin Shinjo juga. Tapi nggak terlalu intens lagi main-main apa main Genshin Impact untuk untuk ngejar-ngejar macam-macam gitu loh. Karena ya apa namanya belum ada yang baru lagi gitu. Tapi dengan begini, gue agak excited lagi untuk bermain. Bagaimana dengan kalian? Oke, okay? terima kasih sudah nonton Kamarama. Jangan lupa like and subscribe. Sampai jumpa di Kamarama selanjutnya.